2010 has seen 23-year-old Istamin break into the top 100 for the first time, and his success is a family affair. Mum Claudia is his coach. I train with his mum. She's my coach, and uh, well, <laughs> you know, there's nobody training with uh, mum. There's no nobody have a coach, a woman's coach, <laughs> in the men's tour. But it's nice. Home to Istamin is the Uzbekistan capital, Tashkent. It's a city with a rich tennis tradition. It was the venue for an ATP World Tour event between 1997 and 2002, and it became a familiar destination for some of the game's best players. Not a lot of people training with me from Uzbekistan, but they are still there, and they, of course they support every... They see on the scores, you know, live score, on the TV, on the everything. Of course, everybody knows, like, they have, like, one guy who's playing for the, this country, you know. As he climbs up the rankings, he doesn't have too far to look for positive role models to help improve his performances. I have my game, especially, and, uh, but how they're playing with Rafael Nadal and Roger Federer, it's amazing. They're playing unbelievable, and the, how they feel on the court, how they like looks on the court, it's very nice. Yeah, okay, everybody is different, you know. Every people is different, but these two guys is unbelievable. He made the most of the chance to go toe to toe with one of those idols at London's Aegon Championships in June. He gave the world number one a real run for his money, taking Nadal to three sets. Yeah, it was a good match with Rafa. First of all, of course, I, I, when I ca came to the courts and I, I feel like, yeah, I'm playing with the uh, world number one, Rafa. And uh, in, this, in the beginning, I was a little bit stiff, you know. And, uh, but then I changed, like, I changed my mind and everything and start keep going to my game. And I feel I can, I can beat this guy also. But anyway, it's world number one, you know. You need to be good to beat this guy. He's proved he can compete with the best. For the ambitious Dennis Istomin, the only way is up. Every player, I think, they think about number one. Me, me too, nothing special. Like, uh, but you need to work hard for be like this. I hope so, yeah, I can do this. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, shouldering the weight of expectation, we speak to Germany's number one, Philipp Kohlschreiber. And climbing the rankings, Robert Lindstedt and Horia Tekau on their determination to make their mark in the world of doubles. Until then, don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news. See you next week.